What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. It's such a nice day out right now, and there's a whole bunch of rain coming in, so I'm just looking for any excuse to get on the scooter. So I'm out here on my Mantis King GT. I wanted to show it to you real quick, maybe talk to you about it a little bit, tell you what I think about it. It's got 130 miles on it. You can see it's starting to get dirty. I'm not notorious for cleaning my scooters, but I really like this scooter a lot. I can't believe how much you can get for $2,150 nowadays in a scooter. For a long time, I was really against scooters in the low $2,000 price point range, but I didn't really have a modern $2,000 scooter. And even though this model has been out for a while, apparently, Cabo has made and sold over 10,000 of these units. They've made a couple of different modifications over time, only improving it. To me, it's a really incredible scooter. I, you know, I come from the world of Dualtron where your stem is flexible, but this is an incredible scooter in the sense that this is, your stem here is totally, totally stiff. So, you know, I think that the best way to learn about this vehicle is to take it for a ride. So I ordered myself some, I, I already forgot what I, I ordered California Chicken Cafe. So. We've been there for deliveries. You guys know that spot. And uh, I'm gonna take us down there because I'm kind of getting hooked on the Chinese chicken salad. It's almost like something that they're famous for, their Chinese chicken salad. Uh, I don't know, I got hooked on eating it. It's got pasta and noodles in it. It's not as healthy as it sounds, but it's also got like broccoli, carrots, onion, lettuce, and a lot of chicken. So we're going to pick this up. I'm not really, I haven't really been eating that good for a while. I've been kind of eating most of my meals out ever since I went back to work. When I was down with the injury, I really got myself on a good program of eating. I didn't want to get too fat while I was sedentary. And for months, I was cooking my own food. And I'll tell you, the second I went back to work, which was like six, seven weeks ago now, almost immediately, I kind of like stopped cooking my own food again. I stopped cooking my own food and just resorted to eating out. So this is like a middle ground place. I'm sure a lot of people tell themselves, oh, California Chicken Cafe is good for you. But I don't know, there's pasta in this, there's noodles. God, this fucking traffic. I might have to shoot down a little side street here. We might have to go down El Cerrito. Let me see here. This is crazy, dude. Maybe somebody will let me go. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, they almost let me go already. Yeah, this is just like a little, little scooter shortcut because Franklin's looking insane. But I really love riding this scooter. I'll tell you, it's a real pleasure having like a bunch of e-bikes and scooters in the apartment. So I need to, when I want to do something for like myself, I can like choose a vehicle. And this is really like a perfect size, fast little scooter. You know, I call it little because my ultras are big. I'm used to that. My storm is big. I'm used to that. This is probably like two thirds the size. It only weighs 75 pounds. My storm weighs like 105 pounds to give you an idea. And the ultras weigh uh, 86. The ultras weigh 80 up to up. The new ultra weighs 90 pounds. I think the ultra two weighs 90 pounds. God, what are people doing? Come on. I'm getting nailed out here. Terrible fucking drivers. This thing's got great acceleration though. Right now I'm riding around in mode four. It's got five modes. I almost never max out a vehicle. Mode four will put us right to 30 miles an hour. And you can just see this thing just fucking rips the ground. It's awesome. I like the fact that it's got hybrid tires that are three inch wide, not the typical two and a half inch. It's got 10 by three inch, not road tires, not off-road tires, but hybrid tires, sort of the best of both worlds. They're grippy, but they're also knobby and they're wider than regular tires. That's what I like about this. It's also what I like about, I think a Dualtron Victor also has those tires where they're 10 inch, but they're not two and a half inches. They're 10 inches tall or whatever that <laughs> measurement is, but they're not two and a half inches wide. They're three inches wide and they're hybrid tires. I like these tires a lot. I'll put it in five. Let's see uh, if you can feel the difference. I usually don't like to, uh, why should I drive around in maximum gears? But that's what most people do. Isn't it crazy? I think a lot of guys get a scooter any electric vehicle and they never explore the lower gears they just put it in the highest gear they learn to drive it at that speed and that's how they do it let's go boom while this thing fucking goes let's go wow that's 40 miles an hour already wow that's fast i turned off the cruise control for sure i don't really like cruise control yeah this thing is fast I definitely use the kick plate though. I like the kick plate. 
When I accelerate, I push down on it, push the wheels into the ground. Uh-oh, no, there's something, some emergency at the Jew place. The Jew place, it's a temple, you dumb moron. Uh-oh. Well, they're not panicking. They look pretty calm, these guys. So, all right, we're still trying to get to Melrose. Melrose is pretty far down here. I like the zoom brakes this comes with. I mean, they're not, you know, people will say, oh, there's zoom. People even say nut brakes aren't that good. People are snobs. They think only like Moguras are good, but these zoom brakes are fucking great. I mean, I'm sure you gotta like maintain them properly though. Make sure you change the pads when it's time. Make sure you don't let your rotor get fucking bent. Don't let it get scratched and shit. Replace your rotor instead of uh, trying to flatten it out. That's my advice. If you have a bent rotor, my mechanic, we're more, and my, my mechanic has taught me basically, you know, he's my mentor, that you're better off just, just replacing the rotor in most cases. So they're not expensive. And these scooters all have 160 or 180 millimeter rotors. And we're all sitting on a million of those if we have like any sort of a, a scooter garage or like I have, you know, a million scooters sitting around. They all got 160 millimeter rotors. We'll get there, our, our food will be ready. You know, I know the way these restaurants are timed. But yeah, I mean, I came out here to get this food, but also talk about this scooter. I mean, I don't know, I like it. I think this like front arm mechanism here, very burly. It's got the dual charging ports if you want to put in two chargers to speed up the charging. It charges pretty quick. Well, actually, no, it doesn't. It takes a long time. So I just, I just use one charger at a time. I'm not really in a rush. It takes about 12 hours, I think, with one charger. I'm not even sure, to be honest with you. Yeah, this scooter definitely goes faster than 40. I think it's advertised to go 40 plus. I weigh 185, so man, if you weigh like 155, you're gonna go fucking 45 on this for sure. At least 45, I mean, I'm going 45 on it now. I don't care about top speed though. I mean, I hate to like, that comes up because I'm like kind of realize I'm passively selling it. Just personally, I don't care about speed. I just want to like have enough speed to be doing what I'm doing now, driving in traffic, being treated. You know, I don't know if they're, tre they're treating me like a vehicle or a motorcycle, but performing like a, a car, performing like a vehicle that deserves to be out here. You know, that's what I want out of my scooters. I want my scooters to perform in a way where if you watch me drive enough, you'd say, yeah, it's okay that he's driving in traffic with these cars because I'm driving it like a motorcycle, you know, kind of following the rules of the road like a motorcycle, except when I drive like an asshole, like I'm probably going to do right here. We'll take the back route. I do like the suspension on this, man. But again, you know, it's, it's still a new scooter to me, so I'm really just giving a performance review. Um, it's really, you know, durability is everything to me. So let's see where we're at when I get some miles on this scooter. I'm gonna continue doing delivery shifts with it. It's good for about a 20 mile delivery shift when I do, when I do delivery shifts on it. That doesn't, mean it's, that doesn't mean its range is 20 miles. Probably its range at high speed is 25 miles. But when I do a shift, you know, it's like a lot of start and stop driving that kills the battery. A lot of hills that kills the battery. So really I look at each of my scooters or my bikes as how much, how much fucking, how much, how far is a shift? Oof. How far can I go on a shift? So on one of these, I look at this as like a 20 mile range vehicle. I look at it. I look at it like it's got 25 miles range, and I'll do 20 mile shifts on it. You guys know I never like to max out my scooters on delivery shifts. I don't really want to get stuck out there having to walk home, so I hedge my bet when I go out there. So for myself this time, Stephen. Thanks, man. It's good to see you. See you, buddy. All right, we got our chicken salad. Let's go. It's weird coming here as a customer. I was here yesterday too. Like I said, I can feel myself getting hooked on these salads. It's, it's a salad like only like in theory. It's got pasta, it's got crunchy noodles. It's got like a lot of like rich dressing. I don't think uh, it's like a healthy salad, but I'm selling it to myself as a healthy salad because there's vegetables in it and I hardly ever eat any vegetables. So if I'm eating broccoli and carrots and onions and even just lettuce, like that's a fucking win. But all right, we're heading home now. 
Yeah, so the Mantis King GT, I don't even know what to call it. Is it a Cabo scooter? It is a Cabo. It is from the Cabo line, right? I think that uh, Vora Motors told me to start re to refer to it as like a Mantis King GT. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, but anyhow, we're uh, going to go to La Brea, go home on La Brea. But yeah, I mean, for me, a good scooter, I just I want to be able to ride comfortably in traffic. Uh, it helps when it's nimble like this, you know, like I... This is like a ripper, you know, this fucking thing, it, it, if you don't have, if you have the settings real high, it like, it skids when you fucking take off. And it's just, you can really feel the acceleration. It's pretty tremendous. It doesn't actually skid that much. My Tooltrons actually skid worse if I have the settings set up high. But um, this thing fucking rips. It's just got good acceleration, which you really want to have when you're out here, like for this shit. You want to get to the speed of the traffic and then get in the traffic as fast as possible. Don't act like a fucking bike if you're not a bike. Whoa. Whoa. Oh man, I miss the Lycus, these motherfuckers. Making a move here. I'm gonna try to get across before the light changes. People are driving fucking aggressive. I fucking tell people must be coming home from work and shit. Always looking for cops. I'm always looking for cops. Let's go. You hear that skid? This thing skids. I feel that fucking acceleration is insane. We're going uphill too. We're already at 40 miles an hour, right? 37, 38, 39. I, I shouldn't go this fast. It's fucking stupid. The only thing about going fast is you have to slow down, right? You have to hit the brakes and these brakes are great, but I guess there's like a speed where if you don't know how to hit the brakes from that speed, something can happen <laughs> it's the braking portion of driving fast that is dangerous in my opinion when you're getting to the top speed is nothing you know unless you hit something but um it's stopping it's slowing down that's the dangerous part these brakes are great but one thing about zooms is what the, one thing about zoom brakes i can tell you 100 is they're very grippy they're a little not that like nut hydraulics don't grip down on your rotors and stop your vehicle but zooms are very grippy. There's not much space from where you just trigger the brakes, where you feel nothing to like where, look at that fucking thing, holy shit. Yeah, when you trigger the brakes on these, you don't have to trigger them very much and you have like full fucking squeeze. So that's what I mean by they're very grippy. They're not very subtle. So if you're going to high speed and you don't know how to slow down right, you can really get yourself in trouble there. You know, when I'm at high speed and I slow down, I kind of like, I lightly tap, give the brakes a little tap tap. And then I grip it when it's time. You can feel it. All right, we're gonna fucking grip it and rip it right here now. Another fucking another hill. Let me remind you guys: if you're looking at one of these, use my bonus code Electric Scooter Academy at Vora Motors. Fifty dollars off. It's just a little bit of a nice little discount. I wish it could be more, but it really supports me as a content creator. Enough people do that. You know, I can like maybe one day make a living at this, which I do not at all, but I'm trying. <laughs> I really gotta get rear view mirrors. That's 40 miles an hour uphill, so you know this thing goes over 40 easy. I think we're also down a battery already. We're down a bar because I, you know, I didn't take it out on a full charge. I'm really out on this today because I was supposed to do a delivery shift on it, but I forgot to charge it. I took it out for a little bit. And I don't ever like going out with even like a, a scooter that's even like partially charged by just, even if it's charged 95%, I don't want to go out like that. I only like to go out with a full battery for whatever reason. So I took my Ultra out for the second shift today. Yeah, you're really, you're really seeing this scooter perform now. I'm showing you how, how to fucking do it. I don't want to get cocky, though. This is how you get into accidents, you get cocky. I'm excited to eat this salad, actually, that I have on my back. I'm hungry. It's like almost 4 o'clock. I haven't eaten anything yet today. I already did two delivery shifts today. It was a busy day. You know, when, when I know there's rain coming, I always go out and work doubles those days before because I know I won't be able to work the next couple days. Oh, let's make a sketchy move here. We got a big fucking lane. Let's fucking go. Alrighty, guys. You know, thank you for following me for another little video here. I guess this is like a 
sort of a review of the Mantis. I got 130 miles on it. I like to usually wait till I have at least 500 miles before I do like a review review, but nothing's gone wrong with it. It's performing insanely. I hope you're enjoying this little trip that we took on it basically together. And uh, I don't mind turning my little personal trips into a little video for the channel. All you guys that were there for me when I had my injury and I was down, you know, I appreciate the support. You know, it's really nice. I know you guys kind of like the personal videos that I was doing back then. So this is like some variation of that. Okay, guys, thank you for your support. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave comments, ask questions. Set your notification for the live stream. I'm making my comeback on that, and I'll see you next time.